use some violence to create a flavor you savor. A taste that's inspired make you a mad sandwich crave. I don't want you angry on him. We tried to tenderize someone else in a relationship. Same way you tenderize the meat. Well, I'm gonna let you know that's selfish. Tenderize yourself. Don't try to tenderize someone else. And that's to get your D wet pro tip. Now that our thinly sliced pork loin is tenderized, we just gotta bag it up. And all the holes we created are gonna allow for optimal penetration of flavor in a quick amount of time. First off, we're gonna hit it with this old stinky kimchi that I need to get rid of. That's gonna be spicy, peppery, tangy. I wanna add in some garlic and some more heat. Sriracha. We need to add some earthy saltiness, so we have soy sauce. And then we gotta hit it with the rice vinegar, just gonna keep our fattiness of the pork balanced with that acidic tang. Seal it up. Mix it up. And this will actually work pretty quick. I think it only needs a couple hours. If you left it overnight, the acidity might actually start changing the texture of the meat into something that you don't like. So I recommend doing the same day that you're gonna cook it. Now I'm gonna put this in the fridge. All right, so our pork is marinated for a few hours in the fridge and that's enough. Now remember, it ain't got the thickness, so we're gonna hit it with the quickness. 60 seconds per side, and then we're done. Anything else, that's overcooking it. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Beautiful. All right, we got our ingredients prepped. Let's make a sandwich. I got these beautiful Portuguese rolls. I don't know what makes them Portuguese. I just know they taste good. And they four for a dollar, which you can't beat that. And it's the perfect size for our pork loin. First things first, we're gonna add some crunch to munch. Yeah, that's right. Kettle potato chips and Korean barbecue flavor. It seems only fitting. Yo dog, I need to start working out. You wanna give them a little pre-crunch like that so they don't get in your mouth in big chunks and cut up the roof, you know? That's bad news bears. Now we're gonna grab us some of this nice juicy pork. So much flavor in that. Sweet and hot, perfect amount of salty. I'm very excited, y'all. Top that with a little bit of kimchi. It's gonna be that fresh, fresh tang. This is the exciting bit, guys. I got me some hickory smoked cheddar. And you know we're not just gonna leave it like that. a little bit of burn. We know it takes two to tango, so we gotta have two. Now these some sandwiches. Look at that cross section, those beautiful chips, pork, kimchi, cheese and you know I gotta have a good drink to go with it we have five flavor berry sparkling what what does that mean it means water sugar corn syrup 
Shisand reduce concentrate, black raspberry juice, citric acid, trisodium citrate, and artificial flavor. I don't know what Shisandra is. It sounds like somebody's made up name. It's by Wang though. We always love Wang food. Oh, and here it says five flavors are sweetness, sourness, bitterness, saltiness, and pungency. It's a pungent drink. Oh, that's beautiful. It looks like a rosé. Wow. Oh, wow, that's actually delicious. It tastes like a cocktail, but it's not alcoholic. I feel fancy now. <laughs> oh, what your boy done did. What's your boy on dib? Wow, with the Korean barbecue flavor of the chips fits in perfectly. And a little bit of char that we got from using the blowtorch on here makes it taste fresh off the grill, which I love. It doesn't taste like burnt, it's just that tiny little bit of carboniness that makes it feel real. makes me feel like I'm makes me feel like I'm up in somebody's backyard right now you know wow and this hickory smoke cheddar I'm gonna have to buy more of that because it's um it's outstanding. I got this one little bit left I didn't use on the sandwich. It's like a mild, creamy cheddar flavor. And the hickory isn't overpowering that either. It's very easy going and smooth. It's like having like a really smooth, like non-biting bourbon or something. Mm. God, now I just want some whiskey with it. Those are, this is spectacular too, though. And such a light and fruity balance to our meaty sandwich. Though we carefully balance the ingredients in this, so the meat isn't too heavy or anything, you know? It's all about the tang. I keep talking about the tang, that's what it is. You gotta have balance in your food universe. I just saw some balance in the food universe on my way home to cook this. So, I was at Best Buy uh, picking up my G502 uh, new mouse to use on my new gaming channel. Check the link below. But as I walk into this Best Buy in this big mall in uh, Brooklyn, right by the Barclays Center, there's somebody walking out. And I see the security officer, like, look at that person. And they go, stop. And she just takes off sprinting. But apparently, Best Buy holds like track tryouts for their security officers officers because this guy just took off running too and he had long as hell legs and he was skinny and they ran off around the corner she's looking like she was going through the mall I'm gonna head through Target I guess to try to lose him I didn't even know like a Best Buy loss like loss prevention officer was supposed to chase people. But he went for it. And then the alarm started going off. And they were long gone. And everybody's looking this around the store all confused. Managers are coming out. And I'm like, oh no. I didn't lock it down. No, nah, it just took a second for things to get back to normal and they started selling stuff again, but 
Do I got my mouse? There's ghosts up in here. But I didn't think I was catching her because I heard them saying something about the police as I was starting to leave. Like the police got them. I ain't never ran from nothing but the police. I'm loving this. Five flavored berry sparkling. I love the name. What is that? In, it's in Korean on one side. And then is that Chinese on the other side? And English? They have their marketing down. Don't need to make separate versions of the packaging. Mm. I haven't had pork loin so long. Mainly, I haven't been inspired to like cook on the cooktop for so long because it's been so hot. I'm so glad summer is almost over. And as you guys have noticed, I'm starting to cook more fun stuff as the temperature goes down. Mm. These rolls are such a perfect vehicle. We got Portuguese rolls, we got like, I think this cheddar was from Vermont, Vermont cheddar. We got pork that's probably from New Jersey, but seasoned like it's Korean. American chips that are done in Korean flavors. Mm. It's a very international sandwich. And I got some dessert to share with you guys after. And it's something I really enjoy, and you will probably laugh at me for. But I can't wait to get to it. Oh man, like seriously, the little bit of char on this takes it to a whole nother level. Like, if someone were just asking you, like if you're ordering something, they're like, would you like just a tiny, tiny bit of it to be slightly, slightly burned? Would that, would you enjoy that? You'd probably say no. But just like these little, little edges here. That adds such a experiential element to it that I'm confused as to whether like, I feel like I enjoy the flavor of having a little bit of burntness. But then flavor is so linked to memory in the sense of place it's giving me, like at a barbecue in a backyard with family and friends. I don't know what's more powerful, if it's the flavor or the the memory trigger, it's just all together, I guess. Wow. Feels like a fall afternoon drinking cider in a backyard. Mm. Having a hot dog with some of the skin blackened on it on the edge of the river, drinking a PBR or a stag. Listen to the band play. Back in my college days, in good old, or outside, good old Columbia, Missouri down at Cooper's Landing. sandwich that you can see like the layers in the cross section as if it was a like a geological core that you have pulled out of the earth
because when you can see the layers, you know there's going to be texture diversity, which is very important to me in any food. You need creamy, you need soft, you need crunchy. There's also going to be flavor diversity. I think the art of food exists all in the, the differences between things, the comparisons and contrasts you can make and that your taste buds and your brain makes automatically as you eat. Having just one flavor is no good. Having just one texture is no good. And just like real life. I mean, this is real life, but it applies to most things. doesn't apply to milk. You want one texture in milk. You don't want no lumpy ass milk. And like the complexity of this five flavor berry sparkling. It says in the name, five flavors. Berry sparkling. And it is sparkling. Mm. And I honestly don't feel that bad about myself eating this, like... It's low-key, not that... I mean, it's kind of healthy. I'm eating cabbage. Mm. God, the cheddar goes so well with it. I'm a little bit scared about putting... Hickory cheddar with um, kimchi garlic flavors, but no, it works so superbly, and the texture is important too. And it's really nice when you use the blowtorch. You don't get a completely melted all the way through cheese. You get like a surface melt that holds everything together but then there's still some solidity in the middle. So the texture of the cheese isn't completely lost. It's creamy, but not, you know, gooey and watery. I'm just pleased with punch. This is going on my list of sandwiches. Try again. And actually, I was, if I had had it, instead of using kimchi on the meat um, in the marinade, I would have put Goku Jang on it and rubbed it down. But the kimchi worked so well. There's no purpose to buy Goku Jang if I didn't already have it laying around. Goku Jang is a wonderful thing. And it's an ingredient in my homemade hot sauce. So don't think that I'm disparaging Goku J. God, I hope I'm saying that right. Goku, Goku Jang, Gochu Jang, Gochu Jang. I got you, Jang. Caught ya. <laughs> Two is the perfect amount. There's a little bit of sweetness coming in here from the, um, the Korean barbecue chips have like a tiny bit of sweetness to it. I really like that. I think that comes from, if you're making like bulgogi, get that Korean barbecue beef flavor. Um, there is some sugar in there. I think that's the flavor they're trying to emulate in the chip. 
then the sugar balances the heat really well. And if you're gonna make this, make sure you get the thin sliced pork loins, you know? I got the no bone, uh, thin sliced pork loin, chop center cut. That way it cooks super fast and you can bite through it super easily. So it's delicious and easily edible. The cut pork chops are nice, but you know, it's hard to eat. After that savory spiciness, it's time for a sweet treat. Let's get some dessert. All right, guys, I saw these at the store the other day and I just couldn't resist. It takes me back to childhood. Yes, it is a pudding cup. This is the Swiss Miss of vanilla and chocolate mixed together. You know what I really was looking for is the, um, oh my God, the tapioca. Cause that's what I remember for some reason my parents were not big on getting, you know, treats for the kids. They didn't really believe in enjoyment and fun that much. Or giving kids sugar at all. But for some reason, the tapioca one was okay. I think because my dad liked it, so we would get it sometimes. Now it was. Now I realize other people think the tapioca one is nasty. But I love those little balls of tapioca in there. I'll admit, I guess it is a weird texture, but but I just like this pudding too. And I'm not gonna go to the trouble to make pudding at home generally. Even with the box, you know, it's a pain and you're getting the pan dirty. Is this a nice treat? The pudding's right by some of the cheese in the grocery store I shop in, so I saw it when I was buying cheese and thought you deserved this, Sammy boy. You deserve to have some sweet, creamy, delicious fun in your life. Well guys, thank you for joining me. Please try making this sandwich delicious, easy, amazing. Do not burn down your house with a blowtorch though. That's not on me, that's on you.